Um, hey. So, uh, I guess I'm the first one to make this sort of tutorial, I guess. Not like an entire Warpaint tutorial, but of how to change individual mapping, texture mapping on weapons. Like, for example, the minigun that we're gonna do right here as like a start. Because when you understand how to, well, map, I guess, textures, it will become, you know, it's a, it's a simple process, really. Just getting started with it is like the really hard, hard part because everything isn't really explained. But um, basically what mapping is, is that you can actually apply like different textures onto the weapon model. For example, you know, these stripes, golden stripes, this is basically a texture that the uh, weapon uses. But uh, let's start simple and easy by removing this. You see this part right here? It, it looks very, very busy. Uh, so I want to replace this texture on like the front of the, I guess, drum with this golden type of bronze texture. So as a start, you basically want to open your properties and go into your local files and click browse. Then you go into TF2, you scroll all the way down to textures.dir and open up the materials and you scroll all the way down. Well, actually, no, you don't scroll all, scroll all the way down, but do that because we ended up where we wanted to go, wanted to go which is the model section. So you go in here. And then you scroll all the way down in this branch till you find weapons. You open that up and then you go to C models. And here you go. Here are all the C models. As you can see in here, these uh, folders contain all the textures and groupings of all the other weapons like the scattergun but, and the rocket launcher. They all contain the different groupings of the rocket launcher. But we wanna, what we want to look for is the minigun so it's right here and if you open this one up you'll see this is the minigun texture so when we have that folder open already i guess you can open photoshop or any sort of canvas editing software that you have and you will basically want to create a 2048 by 2048 sort of canvas uh, so you can actually edit your mapping as you can see right here but you open up a new file and you basically make it this big, really. Because that's the resolution size for every uh, texture that the game has. Okay, so now we're ready for importing the textures. Just take the minigun texture overall and you copy it. You can right click and then copy. Mo many people don't know this, but you can just right click and copy. And you can paste it into the canvas. As you can see, it fits perfectly. Now, when we imported this entire thing, as you can see on the Night Owl minigun, it uses this mapping right here, which has two stripes going all over it. That can help us guide us so we choose the right mapping or labeling it as the right mapping. We need, because basically, we want the game to know that we want to change, change this type of map for the minigun. So it doesn't change like the top shelf version of the minigun. As you can see right here, you can you see this golden, I mean, they are not golden, but as you, as you can see, these are some sort of small stripes. Uh, but if you actually know the top shelf skins, or the top shelf minigun, it actually utilizes these sort of golden lines. So you can easily detect that which mapping is which, if you know the skin, that is. But when it comes to actually labeling it so the game knows what skin you want to change, you mainly want to use this one because as you can see right here, it has one stripe over here and one stripe down here. Either way, you open up this grouping, you copy it and then you paste it. And don't, do not, I swear to God, do not zoom in or zoom out because uh, it determines which you know resolution it is in. So if you if we zoom out and copy it and we paste it into the Photoshop folder, I mean canvas, you see it's much, 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 much more tinier. So don't mess with that because it can make the textures more fussy and therefore bad. But as you can see, if you're not familiar with mapping, uh, which I will assume you're not because you're watching this video, you can see the, line, the red is basically the textures that is applied on the minigun. So basically this is the stock minigun, as you can see, right? Because when we change the textures, you can see there's the minigun underneath it. So basically this red texture controls, let me just 
there we go. So basically this red texture is like the texture that we have right here, which is applied on top of the minigun. How do we actually change the mapping? And to be honest, it's quite simple, even simpler than I thought. I thought it required uh, coding of some sort, but it doesn't really. Basically, you used use this tool right here and just take it to 10 the tolerance and then you can mark individual shades of red because the different shades of red controls different textures for example this darker shade shade of red controls the gold texture because it's a, it, it's a golden stripe really and this one and these like shades shades of red, i don't i'm not sure <laughs> either way so we want to change this bit right here i mean changing this part is obvious because as you can see right here it has like a scene like a little circle right here i mean th there are the only like huge huge circles in this mapping so mark this one so mark this one and just make a new layer grab your grab your eyedropper tool and you pick the texture that the gold uses or the bronze whatever now, how do you find out which texture is which? As you can see on the tip of the minigun, it has this gold texture and the stripe. So you can use these as like landmarks or reference points. So as you can see down here, these, this is the barrel of the minigun. So you and basically you just color everything in using the this marker tool. And then you can easily simply just save it as a texture minigun mapping, which I have right here. Save it in any document or whatever. I save it on my desktop because it's the most easiest way to find it. And then you also want to save it as a target. Then choose the right, you know, the highest setting of quality. Then go to files, import. You choose your mapping or the target file and you import it. And I mean, you basically know this bit if you make port pins. You save it as, you save it as this group right here. P underscore minigun underscore groups zero two because this is what uh, the game is uh, searching this file for when applying the textures onto the night owl skin minigun skin or paint I guess just click yes then you basically just copy it and you're going back into the game files I would highly suggest that you that you actually pin this Go into your war paint section. Now here is what I assume that you what you don't have. You go into materials and you will add a new directory called models create a folder called models create a new folder called weapons create a new folder called c underscore models then you create a new folder called c underscore minigun and here you are then you paste in this minigun mapping or groups and let's update it boom there you go okay so now we want to change this bit all right it's quite easy as well due to it having you know, stri a stripe right here. We can easily identify it as being up here. Now, which part is which? So we will, so uh, the texture we want to change is on top of like the white part of the barrel or drum, whatever you want to call it. And if we take a look right here, this is the white, like the white part of the barrel. So we do, what we can do easily is just mark this entire thing, create a new layer, and basically you, you, you just color everything in. Uh, for some reason, my recording just stops whenever I do it. I guess it's memory overflow or something, but I don't know. Either way, you can do this with every single bit or part of the minigun. You can change individual uh, parts of the minigun to the textures that you want. But either way, let's just easily just save it as Targa. I mean, you know the drill. And then you go ahead and copy it. Go back paste it click yes override it and boom you now done it you know you you now know how to change individual mapping now depending if you want to if you want to change like the grenade launcher you can just easily go back into your directory like right here as you can see and you can easily use apply it on the wrench sticker bomb launcher sniper rifle smg shotgun scatter gun you know everything everything every single weapon except for the uber saw maybe can you can change the mapping of but all of the workshop items, like the Crusader's Crossbow, Barsari Bargen, uh, they have a different directory in the workshop uh, workshop uh, section right here. Uh, but it also, but then it just continues as its same directory as the normal weapon models or whatever. I uh, don't, I can't find the right names for it. But either way, basically you have uh, much more wiggle room uh, to change stuff, I guess. 
So I hope this guide kind of helped you. I mean, this is basically how you do it. This is how you change. This is how you change the, the textures of or the texture mapping of individual weapons. So I mean, it's pretty neat, pretty good to know. And I'm surprised I'm the first one to make it. If I, if in somebody, if somebody haven't made it already, but you know, I haven't seen it, so I will do it myself. But I hope uh, this uh, tutorial helped you in some way, shape, or form, and or that you found it somewhat interesting. But either way, uh, uh, have, have, have fun, I guess. I don't know.